Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be having a look at a different type of product. All about hairstyling, of course, still. However, it's slightly different. Now, this is something which I have taken from a little bit of a, a hint, a little bit of a suggestion from a comment which was left on one of my uh, videos in regards to have I ever tried Percy and Reed hairstyling products? And the answer is to that, no, I haven't. So recently, what I have done is I haven't bought the shampoo and the conditioner. But what I did do is I spent some time having a look at the range what range was for me and because I've got fine textured hair but a lot of it I was kind of attracted more to the volumizing side of the, the sort of family of products you could say from Percy and Reed and I have came across this product here now as you can see it looks quite obscure straight off but this here is a styling product but this is where it gets really interesting so this is by Percy and Reed it's smoothed sealed and sensational volumizing no oil oil for fine hair i know that sounds strange but i am always looking for root boosting products products which coat the hair make the hair appear fuller after it's been blow dried lifted the hair up very often it's sort of spray applicator bottles this is a hair oil now with fine hair that might be something which a lot of people wouldn't necessarily whether you're a man or a woman wouldn't probably necessarily have a look at or even entertain but the problem is with fine hair just as what thick hair does it shows wear and tear, it gets dry, it gets quite sort of flat looking, uh, the, the colour can dull if you have like a professional colour, even if your own natural colour. If you're using products, very often fine hair can show wear and tear. So sometimes an oil can be something which really boosts life, energy, shine and sort of luster back into the hair, to be quite honest with you. Now, when would I use a hair oil being if I've got fine textured hair? As I always say on my channel, a lot of this is just smoke and mirrors. This looks like ultra thick hair. In a matter of fact, it's actually not. It's fine. Um, I have a lot of it. In some areas, it's thicker than others. It's a lot thicker at the moment because I have been using a hair growth supplement program called Viviscalp. Do have a look on my channel. I've had some great fun and I've had some real great benefits from that range. So that's really sort of bode, boded really, really well um, in terms of hair growth and how thick my hair is at the moment. But I'm always looking for a product to when I'm styling my hair. So regardless of what shampoo and conditioner I'm using, it starts when you're in the shower if you, your hair's wet. Literally, having a shampoo and a conditioner which is actually for fine textured hair or for creating volume is where you need to start to be quite honest with you if you're using something which is for smoothing or clarifying or something like that that's great but if you've got fine textured hair and you're trying to achieve volume you're never going to get a huge ultra volumized textured lift style if you're not starting when your hair's wet. After you've done that, it's great then to boost those roots and get that hair lifted away from the scalp with a product such as this. So I've used this a handful of times. In terms of my impressions straight off, I'm very pleased with it. I have to admit when I first used it, I was a little bit uncertain. And that's because for an oil for me, I would always, when would I use that? So. If my hair's wet afterwards, so it's shampooed, it's conditioned, then I'm going to go in with a, a blow dryer and uh, like a vented brush to get that lift, that volume. Then what I would do for the protection of my hair and to look after the cuticle to keep the cuticle smooth so it doesn't make the hair frizzy or anything like that. Fine hair has its benefits, but of course also it has a lot of negatives, so it can be quite frizzy quite easy, both and men and women's hair can be, particularly if it's finer, and it can often be quite tangly if it's longer as well. Since I've had these highlighted areas put into my hair, or highlighted pieces, whatever you want to call it, they're quite silvery, so therefore they can get quite dry. Blonde tones, silver tones are very high maintenance and they require a lot of moisture. So that's where I started using oils. So when I had a look at the Percy and Reed range, I thought this would be perfect in trying this out. My slight sort of when I first used it was because it didn't feel soft and sort of real sort of being able to pull your hands through it straight away. It made the hair feel a little bit sort of as though you were tugging a brush through it or tugging a comb through it after you put it in. So I kind of used it, dried my hair very quickly, didn't really think too much of it, it was okay. Recently, I've used it a little bit more and you don't need a lot of it, as you can never tell from here. You don't need a lot of it. One, two pumps. Absolutely fine. What I would say straight off is the smell I'm not overly too fond of. The smell for me is a little bit sort of overpowering. It's very sweet. It's like um, it's like real sickly sort of 
sugary sweets. That's what it reminds me of, and it gets a little bit overbearing, and it can become a little bit sickly. Um, so that would be my only sort of note on that, but of course that's a matter of opinion. The other people, they might well absolutely love that. But for me, it was something which I could sort of take or leave, to be quite honest with you. Now, I've used this this morning to create this style here, and as I say, I do have fine textured hair, and a lot of my styles are all smoke and mirrors, and if you don't know what that means, to be quite honest with you, a lot of my hairstyles are more air than hair. Um, and that sounds really quite strange, but it, I'm all about honesty on my channel. Integrity for me is absolutely key. So it's pointless me sitting here saying to you that a product is good if I've got ultra, ultra thick hair. I haven't. What you can actually see in here is the hair is flat at the back. This looks big in the front here, but what I have to make sure I do is that I lift all the hair up with a comb so it looks like there's hair inside. If I was just to do this quickly, you would see straight through my hair. Now, the way I do that is inside, I get um, I get a particular brush, which has got like, um, I think it's called like a like an Afro comb, or it's got like prongs on the comb, and then it lifts the hair up. So very often what I do whilst my hair is just drying with a, with a free spray is I literally come through them scalp, and I pull all the hair up just so it makes it thick, and it's got like a, a I always call it a scaffold underneath um, but that's how I keep it looking thick and full so using a product like this really really good used it this morning so after shampooing and conditioning my hair I take uh, one to two pumps of this I'd say um, rub it through my hands after you've got your hair conditioned rub it all the way through and then just take your time don't be sort of quite erratic be quite careful because where it says that it's a it's a volumizing no oil oil. I thought that when I was going to use this straight off, I thought it was going to be a real luscious sort of oil texture, but light. I thought that's what it meant, light. And it is light. It's not heavy. It does give you volume, but just be a bit careful because I do find that it, where it creates, it seems to create texture in the hair quite quickly. So it can sort of start to pull ever so slightly. But if you sort of bear with that and take sort of small areas of your hair with your sort of rectangular sort of brush or however you dry your hair, possibly if you use a round brush, if you're a woman, if you've got longer hair or if you're uh, a man and you would choose to use this, literally just running your fingers through the hair like what I do sometimes can create more lift as well and more texture. Of course, always, if you're wearing your hair off to the one side, Blow dry it off to the opposite side. Even though you're using a product like this, which is for volume, is for creating thickness, fullness, that trick is just going to dry the hair against the, how the hair naturally falls for you. So, for example, how my hair is off today is off to this side. I dried my hair off to the opposite side. And what you do is you're drying it off to the opposite way it falls, so you're creating more resistance, more texture. And, of course, with the Persian Reed No Oil Volumizing Oil, da -da, I said it, <laughs> Um, it, it creates sort of it creates a fullness feeling. Now, I wouldn't say it's the most amazing volumizing product in the world. I will be honest, I have used better. Um, now for this, this was around the twenty pounds mark, and for this price, I would expect a little bit more volume. Um, and I would expect the hair to feel a lot more luxurious. Now I don't want to actually. I don't want to put that out there that it makes the hair feel like straw, or it makes the hair feel dry. It doesn't. It feels moisturised and it makes the hair feel volumised but quite subtle. But you can tell there's a product in there. If you're asking honestly, you can tell there is a product in there. So I like the product, but for me it's almost like that I've started using a bit like a, like a hold product, along the lines of like a mousse, even though it's not like that texture at all, it couldn't be further away from it. But after it's drying your hair, that's what it reminds me of, the feeling like I've got some sort of residue in my hair. Whereas some products, root lifting products, I've used and it feels light, airy, it's created huge mega volume, which this creates good volume, but I've had better, I have to admit, if I'm being completely honest. For the price, good product, certainly something I would continue to use because I do like how it's quite soft, it's quite gentle on the hair, but yet if you go a little bit too much or if you go a little bit erratic, it can sort of tug at the hair a little bit. So I think just approach with caution. It, I'd say in terms of volume, if you were to ask me out of 10, how much volume would it create? I would say about a six. For me, it's more of like a natural volume. If you had super, super flat hair, this would absolutely, you'd see the difference straight away. For me, I think because I'm used to using free sprays, volumizing sprays, root lifting sprays and everything, and by the end time I'm finished, I've got it literally ceiling height. This, I'm struggling to do that. But having said that, it is a good product. I absolutely have huge appreciation for the Percy and Reed range. The reviews are very, very good. Um, the products, the shampoos and conditioners might well be something I would look at in the future. Um, for now, I'm quite happy just trying the Percy and Reed 
volumizing no oil oil, said it again. <laughs> and that, I would say, I'm quite okay, pleased I've tried it. Not ecstatic, as you can probably tell, but it is a nice product. It does create lift. In fact, actually, my mum used this once. And just to give you a fair review, actually, um, in my household, what usually happens is if I buy a product or if my mum buys a product or if my brother buys a product in the family home, we usually end up all using it or trying it. That's what usually happens with shampoos and conditioners. If you watch my channel, I go through so many hair products, you will probably get the impression of how many products I have in my home. This oil is great for me, great. However, for my mum's long hair, which is coloured and is nearly at her waist, and again is fine, but she has a lot of it, my mum couldn't actually use this again because she found that it knotted her hair up. And I cringe away from saying that because that's the last thing you want to hear about such a prestigious brand. But I'm just being honest. That's what, I that's what my mum found when I used it even with my shorter length hair, which is just past my bottom lip now. I've already said to you, I had to be careful because it did kind of tug um, and kind of a little bit knotty. But of course, there is reasons behind why products do that. Now we'll go into this in a moment of what the person read volumizing no oil oil has inside it. But what I find with volumizing spray, sometimes they have bamboo fibers, sometimes they have wheat proteins, or sometimes they have some sort of protein which is designed once it's sprayed on the hair that it covers the hair and kind of covers the whole cuticle and then swells and makes the hair thicker and fuller. And of course, once it's covered the whole cuticle, it stands fuller and stronger also. But what can sometimes happen is they can also make the hair feel a little bit like you've got a hairspray product in. Now, I wouldn't go as far as saying that this product makes your hair feel like that. But if you've ever used like a small amount of like a mousse product or something like that to create volume or lift in your hair, whether you're a man or a woman, and it's dry and it's soft, but you can just feel that you've got a bit of a product in your hair. You can just feel there's something in there. And it's not awful, but it's not amazingly nice either. This is what this does. I find. Now let's go into a little bit more on the back here. So this little lifesaver containing violent, uh, violent, violet <laughs> extract gives you lovely locks which are smooth, sleek and shiny, whilst also adding volume. It's a multitasker too with pro vitamin B5 helping to nourish and add strength and repair hair, while wheat proteins, what we talked about, provide protection from heat. What more could you ask for? Directions, work one to two drums, uh, drops of oil through towel dried hair, apply from root to tip. And this is apparently a salon secret at the bottom here. Warm the oil in the palm of your hand and likely run a large blusher brush over the oil. Not 100% sure what that is at all. Apply to the hair with the brush, smooth over any flyaways. Well, I haven't done that because I don't believe that, that my hair would warrant that at all. Clearly, I am thinking it's aimed at sort of more of women's hair. But of course, I'm, I'm a great advocate that everybody wants great looking hair, men and women. So why do that? That's my bugbear with sort of the hair product industry, I have to admit. But um, I bought this online. I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about buying this in a store or anything at all. Why would you, to be honest with you at all? Just proves that you care about how you look. That means that's all it means. It means nothing else, to be quite honest with you. I don't think. Um, when it says that it, and just a little bit, I think it's a little bit of a shortfall. I have to admit, on the back here, it gives the impression that you're going to get this high sky volume. You're going to get this soft, luscious feeling as well. And I just don't think that it's possible. Prove me wrong, if not. Um, as I say, overall, a great product. Certainly something I will continue using. I do like what it does to my hair. It's not horrible. It's not amazing, I will be honest. I have used um, much more huge sort of volume sprays for a fraction of the price as well, actually. I will be quite honest with you. Um, but for my first try of a Percy and Reed product, fairly happy. It would certainly be a range I would look at using in the future, absolutely, for volume. Um, and of course, like a lot of other people, I imagine as well, is one day when you go to use a product, another day you go to use it again, it can be slightly different. So it will be something I will continue using in the future. As I've said to you, um, when I first started using this, I used it quickly and I thought, no, nah, not for me at all. Um, used it the second time, took my time with it. Um, and that's an important factor as well. When you're trying a new product, give yourself time. Um, 
Always use the small amount first of all, then sort of use a little bit more afterwards. Don't just jump in. It says one to two pumps here. First of all, I used one. Today I've used one or two, I'd say about one and a half. Um, and what I'd say, just don't spray 10 pumps into your hand and then expect it to have huge volume. Because I find with some products like this, particularly in oil, because it says it's a volumizing no oil oil. Did I said it again? Um, but just be a bit careful because it does leave a little bit of a feeling in your hair. I'm sorry to say that, but being honest, it does. Okay, thanks very much for watching my clip. I really, really hope you've enjoyed that one. I certainly have. If you have any questions at all, please leave them down below for me. I love getting comments from everyone. Um, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for those. And I try and get back to you as quickly as I can. It certainly does mean the world to me. Okay, so until next time, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.